Welcome to part 3 of the Nanocad tutorial. The next tool to look at is the fillet tool. So I'm quickly going to draw two boxes here, corner to corner. And I'll press F on the keyboard and enter to activate the fillet tool. The radius here is set to 3 and the setting here is set to full. So we'll try this first and see what it looks like. Hit OK, and the two corners that you want to fill it and set a radius to, click them, and you easily have your 3mm radius. The next setting on the fillet tool is called partial, and I'm going to draw two lines that are crossing each other. And I'll just change their color so it's easier to see what they are. I can turn the grid off too. So if I press F on the keyboard and enter and click partial and OK, then I can click this and it won't remove these two lines. It'll create a separate, it'll end up creating two separate corners. So that's partial. And the third one is just the same but without cutting. Let me just change the color. So I'll draw cross lines again. Hit F and enter. Now it'll do the same as before, except it won't disconnect them. This ruler looking tool here is to is used for if I see this radius here and I want to copy this radius. So I can click this. So I can click from here. To the center of the circle which is highlighted. And it will show me that the radius is 3 millimeters. So that setting is now set here. And I can then duplicate this setting somewhere else. The measure tool is simply to be used to get the measurement of the radius. The copy properties tool here is straightforward. Click it, click the radius you want, and the exact settings will be set there. You can make a radius, let's change the number here to 2.56. And when you have this tool activated, It'll set your radius and it will also leave a measurement behind. And this one here is self-explanatory. So I'll quickly draw another cross. I'll do a few of them. This tool here will set every kind of dimension that's possible to be set. You have this width marked out here, the height marked out here, and the radius. All the information recorded in one stroke. And this tool, it sets a circle in the corner as big as you need it to be. So we'll go with 2.3. Now if I click these two corners here, a circle will be set at a 2.3 radius. Let's try to measure that. Two point three. Next we'll look at the chamfer tool. CH on the keyboard down and select chamfer. So the tools are pretty much the same. It does it does what the fillet does except it adds a, a chamfer. You, you'll see what a chamfer looks like. And the information is recorded on the side. 
Let's see what happens if we set a second length at 4. So 2 millimeters to the corner here and 4 millimeters up. The tool will take some playing to get exactly what you want, but it's all there. All the useful, all the useful parameters are there to play with. Here's something useful to know which works with the fillet tool. If I select the polyline here and I draw a square quickly, or a rectangle, a badly drawn rectangle. Now if I press F on the keyboard to fill it, and fill it at 2.3, and OK, I can select one side, and instead of selecting the other side and going all the way around the box, I can hit L on the keyboard and enter. And then click. It should have filleted all the corners, but I guess this is a small square and it only filleted two of them. Let's try drawing something a bit bigger. So, F on the keyboard, enter, and OK. Select one line, press L on the keyboard and enter. Then click another line and all the corners are filleted. This should probably work with any irregular shape. Let's try it. Let's see what happens to this irregular shape. So if I press F, Enter, OK. Click one line, L, Enter, and another line. You can see how useful that is. This should work with a chamfer also. CH, down, enter. We'll only use one length. Hit OK. Select one line, press L on the keyboard and enter. And select another and it chamfers all the corners. Let's try a shape. I want to set the number of sides for the polygon. I'll leave it at 6. Now we will F, Enter, 2.3. Select one side, L on the keyboard and Enter. And then click the other side, and it works with shapes too.